everyone, Stacy Burke here. Today I'm filming this on April 4th, 2016. And it is a Monday, which means it's another time for a grocery haul. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Um, I spent today's secret number, not so secret, is $150. Now, I was amazed I spent that much because I really didn't need that much. But I saw some little extra things that I'll probably show you. And you know I will. And I did use a couple coupons, which was kind of cool. Um, I didn't really need to stock up that much because Roy on Friday is going to uh, the hospital to get his cancer removed. And he's going to be there all weekend. So I didn't have to get that much, but yet I did because you never know. You never know. So let's get right, right into this. And in case you're new, I do this every Monday. I show you what I buy for the week. And I usually go to Ralph's. Okay. First things first, during the weekends, I love my mimosas. So I get some champagne, some cheap champagne because it's from mimosas. Oh, I'm wearing a pink taco t-shirt from Los Angeles. This um, Mexican restaurant in Los Angeles called Pink Taco. So I got this shirt. All right. And, of course, I like my wine. So, this was only five bucks. This is, I like this. It's a flip-flop Chardonnay. And it's a twist-off cap, which is nice. So, I got some wine. This was on sale for 89 cents. I had to get it. I like the peroxide, extra whitening. Although, I probably should get the uh, something better for the enamel because I don't want to wear off my enamel. But, oh, well. I got some more toothpaste. And then, of course, my creamer. I've been stuck on this for a while, the Cinnabon one, because you can taste the cream cheese in it. I've been stuck on that. And then they had some body washes on sale, and I needed some anyway. I don't know if this is really good, but this is Caress, and it's a white peach and orange blossoms, and it's supposed to be silkening, so I don't know. I'll give that a try. It was on sale for like $3.99 or something. And I don't use sugar, but I do like my stevia. I like it in my coffee, so I get stevia on the raw. Which is all natural, and I like it. Uh, to do Elwood oh, and cottage cheese. It was on sale for two thirty nine. I didn't get the fat free this time. I just got the regular small curd. So get the cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is one of the staples. You can mix it up with anything and make it dip or whatever. Do do do. Got some lettuce. Leafy romaine. I like the romaine. Okay, there's this girl on here that keeps telling me to get bananas because I get leg cramps or I get actually I get cramps in the stomach or whatever. I know it's from dehydration and lack of electrolytes because I'm not that great at drinking water. I had a kidney infection before from lack of water. I you would think I've learned. I've been doing good though. Every morning I do do my vitamins and I do take potassium pills and magnesium pills. I take vitamin D. I take I take my daily dose of vitamins, which I will drink a whole bottle of water to down my vitamins in the morning. So I do get my water and I do get my vitamins and I do get potassium. Now Roy has bananas, but I got a couple bananas of my own. And I don't know if I can commit to a whole banana every morning, but I could try to commit to half a banana every morning. We'll see if that works. I haven't been getting the leg cramps that much because I do take my potassium pills, but it'll just come out of nowhere. It just comes out of nowhere. For some reason, I'm, I get dehydrated very easily. Probably because I don't really like water. And I, and I don't really drink that much coffee, but I do like my wine, and I know that dehydrates you. This was on sale. This is like... um cheese for $4.50 and basically it's apple smoked mozzarella so that looked good that looked yummy and I always get my trail mix there's my little bag of trail mix oh wow okay and for my closet you know I always get these renews it little air fresheners that's for the closet and I love my dips, so I have my creamy uh, spinach dip. I like it because it lasts for a while whenever I'm in the mood. I could dip um, vegetables in here. I could, I could put everything in there. I, just, I love this stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I know it's just, 
I get this bean dip. This is like, you know, two fifty, And you could buy a whole can of refried beans for like less than a dollar. And it's actually, it's about the same thing. And I really should just do that. But I just kind of like the convenience of having a lid. And it's a small little dipping container. So my refried beans dip. Some salsa. I usually get the cilantro salsa, but this is kind of fresh tasting. Hernandez uh, medium salsa. And I love my veggies. I use corn a lot in my salads. I like spinach. Sometimes I mix this with the cottage cheese and some garlic powder and some tahini, and I make my own uh, spinach dip. It's really good. I like peas. I like to mix that in my salads as well. And peas, very high in protein. Very high in protein and fiber. It's really good. Really good food. And I like my lima beans. I got some lima beans. In fact, I'm going through uh, all my canned goods again because I donate. You know how I donate like once a month to the homeless. Like I just throw out a bunch of um, bags of clothes and I'm in the process of doing more. I'm trying to clean out that house, my house, like the conda, whatever you method, where the Japanese tidying up thing. Although I can't just do it all at once because it's like there's a lot of paperwork that, you know, important. Anyway, I'm just basically trying to declutter, and I'm actually going a slow process. But at least I'm doing it. At least I'm doing it. So I've been go getting through, going through all my cans that's been there for too long, and all my jars and stuff that's been there too long. And throwing out the bad stuff and anything that I have too much of, I just donate to the homeless. Okay, these are all the cat food, canned cat food for Frankie, for my little delicate little Frankie. If you're new to the vlog, I have three cats, a bird, and a puppy, uh, Clyde. It's a French bulldog. One cat's like 20 years old. She has arthritis. You won't see her. That's bare. Then I have Felix, the alpha male, that basically controls Clyde, my puppy. And then I have Felix, I mean, uh, Frankie the cat, who has like, he's, he has bad teeth and he's, he's, he's a timid boy. He's a timid boy. And I have the bird and I always buy her fresh vegetables because I put that in with her bird seed every morning. And Roy loves his fried chicken every week, but I've been getting rotisserie because it's healthier because he has cancer, and so he's trying to be more healthy, so I get rotisserie chicken. That's his go-to. He eats chicken almost every day. He loves chicken. I need more trash bags since I'm decluttering, so I just throw everything in trash bags, and, and I donate, so I get trash bags. I need a new sponge because my sponge is getting gross. Although, a, tr a trick for a sponge, if they don't get too gross, is um, you put it in the microwave and it kills like some of the germs and stuff. So you could you could um, use your sponge a little bit longer that way. But um, this one's really getting gross, so I need a new one. Of course, I always get my shredded cheese. Reduced fat shredded cheese. And then, I don't know, these look kind of good, these yogurt raisins. I don't know. I can mix them with the trail mix. They look, I don't know. That was an impulse buy. And this kind of an impulse buy, too. I got so many little towels. But I thought those was cute. Like, sun and fun. Like, summertime. I thought I'll put that up for dish towel. Alright. I don't know if you know this. We have good dishes. But we live at the beach. So I have these plastic dishes that we've had for years. I used to think that we could use them like on the patio and stuff, but the wind will blow them. We've had these for years, and uh, they're still good, but um, they're, they're just getting, you know, like, like look, the microwave messes them up and stuff like that. These are the plates we use every day. These are plastic patio plates because dishes, they break, they're heavy, and we, we use these. But, like I said, we've had them, I've had those for a few years now. So, they're on sale, $3, and you get a pack of, uh, I guess it's six, or maybe it's four. I don't know. But I got some, um, they're square, and they're plastic. So I got new plastic plates. 
Because it works when you live work, live at the beach. You know, like you're outside. And if I if I lose it, I lose it. Not a big deal. These are the plates that I don't mind them taking up uh, for when we have a barbecue. What I really hate is when we're having a barbecue, and I don't know this, and Roy and the guys come down and borrow my good silverware and my good knives and take um, or my good Tupperware and then take it upstairs for a barbecue, and then they, they clean up and I don't know where it's at. It either gets thrown out or someone keeps it or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm missing a lot of my good, good silverware. I wish they would take his silverware, because when we married, he has his silverware and I have mine. Mine is the good stuff. And they always like to use the good stuff and never return it. Never return it. Okay. Got more toilet tissue. For some reason, they're not having the big ones. So I had to buy the small one, which is fine. But this is my favorite bathroom tissue. And of course, my select a size. I don't know what I did with the receipt. I don't know what I did with the receipt. But select a size um, paper towels. And the big thing that I spent $30 on is this little patio table. It's metal. And it has this hole right here. So if I want to get like an umbrella, I could put uh, an umbrella through it. So that was like on sale for 30 bucks. So I'm like, okay, I'll get that for the patio. Um, oh, and by the way, you know that plastic plant? I think I, I've been, it's a running joke with me. There's this plastic ball plant. It just looks like a, like a bush, a plastic bush. This big, I'm not even kidding. It's a ball. It's on sale for $60. Six zero. $60. And I think it's hilarious. Who spends $60 on like like just a cheap little plastic plant? Unless I'm missing something. I'll try to insert, like look at the end of the video and I'll insert, I'll insert the picture below. Because every every week it's, it's there. There's a few of them. So they must sell them. But on sale for $60, like how much is it normally? $70 for this ball? Plastic ball? I just think it's so odd. That's just so odd to me. So, uh, and also what happened? Oh, this weekend on Saturday, we went to Knott's Berry Farm for the Boysenberry Festival. That was so much fun, except that the ghost town is under construction. So the ghost town is not there. So um, Knott's Berry Farm was very small and it was very busy. I did meet some people. They go, oh, Stacy, Stacy. I had to go pee so bad. And so I took a selfie with them. I bought this chicken purse. Maybe I'll insert the video there. I spent 40 bucks on this chicken purse that I thought was hilarious. I love it. It'll probably break the first day I use it, but I don't know. I just had to get it. It was so cute. And uh, they had boysenberry everything. They had boysenberry alligator bites. They had uh, boysenberry pulled pork sandwiches. They had boysenberry beer, which I had a few. It was good. And I did some wine tasting, and that was good. Um... I love Knott's Berry Farm. I love Knott's Berry Farm. I'm, maybe I should get a season pass. I mean, I'm sorry, Disney. Disney, I know there's a lot of Disney fans out there, but you guys, hey, you guys are so expensive, Disney. Like, I just I just think it's way overpriced. I know it's really fun, but you, it's so much money to get into Disneyland, and then you got to park. Um, then you, the food and the drinks are expensive and the souvenirs. And it's like, seriously, you got to take out a mortgage on your house just to go to Disney. Like, I don't know how families do it. Like they, they must really have to save up because kids want everything. I just, I don't know. I think they're really taking advantage. I don't know. I just, I think it's way overpriced. I think Disney's way overpriced and I'll just go to Knott's. I know it's smaller, uh, but I'll, I'd rather spend my money there. And there's other places, like I like the Renaissance Fair and I like festivals. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll go to Disney, you know, but eh, it's just so much money. And you can't really see everything in one day anyway, so you spend all that money. And, and waiting in lines, hey! Waiting in lines for rides. Roy, even at Not Very Farm, Roy waited two hours for rides. That's why I don't, another reason is I don't do rides. But, 
Oh, and um, Clyde did really well on his doggy school. You couldn't tell right now because he's barking. He's playing with uh, Felix the cat. But he's we got about 10 commands off of him. And he only went to two classes. This was the second class. We're not going next week because Roy's going to be in the hospital. But we get six commands. He's doing really, really well. They said he's different than most French Bulldogs. Like, he's really on it. Which also sucks for us because they go, well, it sucks more for you because... Now the humans have to learn more commands because this dog's like keeping up. So we got to remember it. And every day when I get home from work, I, I, I show him, I, I do all the commands with him. And he's doing really, really well. Well, he's taking a big poop right now. So I better go and clean it up and put all, everything away. Thank you for listening to me. And until next week, to all my Stace Cadets and all my Burkettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Peace. Came home from Knott's Berry Farm and found I spent forty dollars on a chicken purse. Cost me forty buck bucks at Knott's. Open your mouth. For his kindness and guidance. That's not working. Why is it working? Get out of the car. Oh, you look kind of good. I gotta show it to you. Oh, wow. Oh. Now, meow. Meow. I said meow. Keep going because there's. It's only even meow, a second. Meow. 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 <laughs> In case you're wondering, this plant's still on sale for 60 bucks. And it's a small plastic plant. There's my hand. <laughs>